If you're looking for a simple, no-hassle VPN that actually works without a steep learning curve, Clear VPN might be on your radar. This is built by the MacPod team, which is the same team behind the Clean My Mac application. It's a super helpful application that lets you clean up your entire Mac in just a couple of seconds. This is by the same company, and it promises a one-tap privacy, fast connections, and a clean design aimed at just everyday users. But with so many other VPNs to choose from, is it actually worth using? In this video, I'll be breaking down everything you need to know about it, from its pros, the gaps in coverage, and even who it's actually built for in the first place. This review is designed to give you the full picture of what ClearVPN offers, not just of course what's on their homepage. We'll be covering how it performs in the real world. I'll walk you through setup, security, streaming, and even its overall usability. So whether you're brand new to VPNs or you just want something that's easy to use and affordable, by the end of this video you'll know exactly if this service is right for you. So Without further ado, let's get into this review. ClearVPN was developed by the MacPod team, which is a Ukrainian company best known for building simple, user-focused tools, specifically Clean My Mac. Their VPN service launched in 2021, and it has the goal of making VPNs less intimidating or accessible for the average user. That specific goal shows up very clearly in its user interface structure and its overall design features. There's no clutter, no advanced settings, and no need to choose protocols unless you absolutely want to. You simply just install it onto your device, tap the connect button, and you're basically protected. It works on Windows, Mac OS, iOS, and Android with automatic setup on most modern devices. It's clearly built for casual users, not just tech experts, which makes it more appealing for anyone who just wants privacy without the complexity. Now, while ClearVPN ills the ease of use side, there are of course a few limitations that you should be aware of before diving into it. First is that it doesn't support Linux, routers, smart TVs, or gaming consoles. So if you're looking to cover your entire network, this might not exactly be the greatest VPN for that. There's also no support for the WireGuard protocol, which many advanced users of VPNs are absolutely crazy about because they say it has much faster connections and an overall better security infrastructure. There's also the consideration that the free tier only gives you access to one server in Ukraine with no streaming or premium features. While the company does claim that they have a no logs policy, it hasn't been verified by a third party audit. So it still remains to be seen if that actual claim is true. If you're somebody who needs deeper control here, the global server variety or airtight anonymity, these are some important trade offs that you're definitely going to want to consider. ClearVPN uses something called AES 256 bit encryption, which is actually the same military grade standard that you'll find in some of the top tier VPNs that are out there on the market. It also supports OpenVPN and IKE v2 protocols, which basically cover your basics as far as security is concerned. Now, there's also a built-in kill switch that automatically cuts your internet if your VPN drops out for any reason. Plus, they also have a DNS leak protection that's enabled completely by default. When using OpenVPN, the company also claims to have a strict no logs policy as well as the policy of not tracking your IP activity or your connection timestamps. There's also been minor reports of IP leaks when using IKE v2, so for those who need rock-solid anonymity, that's definitely something that you will want to consider here. But for casual users, this level of security is still very solid. Now, in terms of speed, ClearVPN performs very well on local connections. You're looking at around a 7-10% to drop, which is pretty much barely noticeable for browsing or even just casual streaming. But if you're connecting across continents, speeds can dip pretty significantly here, sometimes losing up to 60% depending on the server location. This service also has a smart connection feature, which helps by automatically picking the fastest available server, which works well in most cases. Now, when it comes to streaming, ClearVPN is kind of a hit or miss here. It does unblock platforms like Hulu, Disney+, and BBC iPlayer, and it can access parts of the Netflix library even if your region blocks those services. But unfortunately, region-specific Netflix content still gives it a little bit of trouble here, and occasionally buffering happens on long-distance connections. If you're a casual viewer, this does work. Just don't expect consistent access to every region's catalog that you're connecting to. Now, if streaming is your top priority, there are some faster, more reliable options out there that you can choose from. ClearVPN offers torrenting on all of its different services, but it doesn't offer dedicated P2P 
servers. So performance here can vary depending on the location that you're in. If you're downloading large files or rely on stable speeds for frequent torrenting, you might run into some slowdowns here. Now in terms of gaming, it's actually pretty decent on nearby servers, giving you pretty low ping and stable enough for casual playing. But for more competitive gamers, you might want to avoid those long distance connections where latency can become an issue. Now going beyond that, ClearVPN also includes a few nice built-in extras. There's a built-in ad and tracker blocker for your browser, but you'll need to install a special extension to even use it in the first place. It also comes with special modes like privacy mode or streaming mode, which specifically will optimize your connection based on what you're doing, which is kind of helpful for more non-technical users. And there's even one unique touch, and that's the fact that the app lets you donate to Ukrainian relief efforts directly through the interface, which is a very small but thoughtful feature and as well a great touch for their overall humanitarian efforts. Now, one of the big questions that you're probably asking yourself is what is the actual price of this service? We can head over to their pricing page here and they have a very transparent way of showing us all the different prices that we can choose from. As you can see, they have a free three-day trial that you can take advantage of, which means that you don't have to pay any money whatsoever and you can start using all their features completely for free. There's also a 30-day money-back guarantee included with whichever plan you end up choosing. So if you have any issues in the first 30 days, you can get your money back with no questions asked. As you can see, they have their one month plan or their one year plan. The one month plan starts at about $9.99 a month, while the one year plan starts at about $3.75 a month. As you can see, of course, if we go with that annual plan, we are going to be saving quite a bit of money there. But if you want to get started with them, you can always go with the one month plan. Now, if you guys want to get access to this service and some of these deals, make sure you use that link down in the description. When you click that link, you'll be able to get access to some pretty great discounts in the process. So of course, make sure you use that link. Also, just as a quick note, the free tier does give you unlimited bandwidth, but it does limit you to only one server location specifically in the Ukraine. Also with no access to streaming or some of their more advanced features. Payment is limited to only credit cards and PayPal with this and they don't have any crypto options which of course if you're more privacy focused that could be a consideration that you might want to take into account. But now as far as the user interface is concerned it's absolutely beautiful. It's designed around just a clear single connect button which keeps things super beginner friendly and just very easy to use. Most users won't even really need to touch the settings in the first place as most of that is going to be way more complicated for what most casual VPN users are going to need in the first place. Also just to quick note that their support chat is incredibly intuitive and also very helpful. It's 24-7 with live chat, email, and they even have a knowledge base for very commonly asked questions. But with that being said though, let's show you guys actually what the setup process looks like for ClearVPN. All you have to do to get started with them is click that link down in the description which should take you to a page that looks like this. As you can see, I simply had to hit the download now button, which will then download ClearVPN onto my computer. Once it downloads onto my computer, I'll follow the simple setup guide in getting it installed, and just like that, ClearVPN is ready to go on my computer. I'll then create a quick free account with them, and then just like that, you can get inside and start using their VPN service. Once that's all taken care of, you're pretty much ready to go with ClearVPN. Now, just to wrap this whole video up, if you're somebody who really values the overall simplicity of a VPN, and, and you're not worried too much about the overall complicated features, this is definitely a great, great platform that you can get started with. If you're somebody who values a little bit more complex privacy measures as well as features, I would definitely recommend checking out some of the other VPNs that we'll have linked down in the description. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have ever used this VPN before. Also, let me know what your overall thoughts are about it. Make sure that like button and subscribe so you never miss any of our future videos. Also, please remember that the links down in the description are affiliate links and we could earn a small commission at no extra cost to you. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see you guys in the next one.